peace be with you. A warm welcome to each and every one of you as together we greet this new day. Wherever you are right now, whenever you read this or watch this, I picture us all together somehow, held in time and place by the Holy Spirit. Today is the second Sunday of the season of Easter, and we continue our celebration of resurrection and new life. After that first Easter, the risen Christ came to the disciples, stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And they saw him and they believed. Christ, our light, thanks be to God. Please pray with me. God of love and infinite compassion, some of us rise with the dawn. Some of us rise when the night falls to go in for our shift. But whenever the beginning of a new day is for us, for that we give you our thanks and lift our prayers. We pray you will open our hearts this day that we may grow in love. Open our minds to the endless possibilities you create. Open our spirits to grow closer to you and to our neighbors. Open our eyes to your presence in moments of joy and laughter. Open our ears to join with the universe singing your new song. These things we pray in the name of the risen Christ. Amen. The reading that I've chosen for today is the reading uh, for the Sunday after Easter, and this is carrying on in the Gospel of John from where we left off last week. I'm reading from chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. It was still the first day of the week. That evening, while the disciples were behind closed doors because they were afraid of the authorities, Jesus came and stood among them. He said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. When the disciples saw the Lord, they were filled with joy. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they are forgiven. If you don't forgive them, they aren't forgiven. Thomas, the one they called Didymus, one of the twelve, wasn't with the disciples when Jesus came. The, others, the other disciples told him, We've seen the Lord. But he replied, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, put my finger in the wounds left by the nails, and put my hand into his side, I won't believe. After eight days, his disciples were again in a house, and Thomas was with them. Even though the doors were locked, Jesus entered and stood among them. He said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. Look at my hands. Put your hand into my side. No more disbelief. Believe. Thomas responded to Jesus, My Lord and my God. Jesus replied, Do you believe because you see me? Happy are those who don't see and yet believe. Then Jesus did many other miraculous signs in his disciples' presence, signs that aren't recorded in this scroll. But these things are written so that you will believe that Jesus is the Christ, God's Son, and that believing you will have life in his name. May God bless to our understanding this reading from the Holy Scripture. The 
The Story of Doubting Thomas It's often painted as a bad thing to be a doubting Thomas, a doubting Thomasina, or Thomasine, but I don't get that from this story. I hear the opposite, in fact, that doubt is a part of the journey of faith. Soon after the resurrection, we find the disciples, like us actually, behind closed doors. But while we're doing what we can to limit the spread of the coronavirus, they were afraid of the authorities. But we both end up in the same place, behind closed doors. And we have other things in common with those early followers, too. For example, look at the emotional responses from last week and this. The responses of Mary, Peter, the beloved disciple, before and after they saw the empty tomb. And then Mary, when she sees the risen Lord, and now the disciples closed up as a group, and Thomas late to the gathering. In two weeks, their emotions have been a roller coaster. Responses to life that take them up and down with grief, fear, confidence, hope, doubt, joy. <laughs> they were also oh human, just as we are. And I offer this just in case you're having a bad time right now, a difficult time, or you know someone who's having a difficult time right now, because our lives are a roller coaster. On the one hand, our lives continue. We still need groceries, prescriptions, doctor's appointments. People still get sick from things other than coronavirus. Babies are still being born losing jobs, looking for work, adapting our work. On the other hand, I offer the observation that all the emotions of simply being human are intensified by the threat just outside our doors. Because the psychologists say, this is a real threat. It acts in our bodies like a kind of trauma, a kind of grief. So like Thomas, a week after Easter, there might be times when you feel skeptical about the excitement of Easter, about the, resurrection of res about the resurrection power of new beginnings. But be assured, Jesus isn't offended when Thomas expresses doubt. Jesus simply shows his scars and says, Thomas, no more disbelief. Believe. Jesus gives us all permission to accept our moments of doubt as a part of faith. And Jesus doesn't leave us here in our room with doubt. Jesus blesses us. Jesus blessed Thomas and the disciples three times, even as he would bless us. Peace be with you, he says. Peace be with you, with us. That's our blessing today. And God's blessing of peace is one that passes all understanding. Peace that is as wide as it is deep, broad, capacious, encompassing love, grace, hope, right relationships. And through our blessing, we are blessed to be a blessing to others. People still need the love we have to give in prayer, in thoughtfulness, in donations, in imagination, in rebuilding a better world. So even if you doubt today, let the words of Jesus assure you, bless you, and be with you on the roller coaster of being human. May you all deeply know God's peace. May you know that hope that endures, and may it ever be so. Amen. Well, this week, I invited folks in the Ilderton United Church congregation to send me photos of images, signs, artwork, ideas they find encouraging. And I put all these photos together in a presentation as a way to encourage all of us. So let's watch that now.
Please pray with me once again. Creator God, we give you thanks for the life-changing news that every morning is Easter morning. We give you thanks for lives transformed by the wisdom of your teachings and healing mercies. We give you thanks that the risen Christ still comes to us with words of peace. And so we pray, gracious God, come with words of peace today. Come wherever people are faced with the dangers of coronavirus. In nursing homes and retirement residences, in shelters, in prisons, in hospitals and doctor's offices, in grocery stores and pharmacies. Holy One, come with words of peace. Come with words of peace today, wherever people are faced with adapting to life during a pandemic, where there are children, where there are teachers, wherever homes are unsafe, wherever there are businesses and livelihoods in jeopardy, wherever there's not enough to eat, wherever there is grief, fear, vulnerability, wherever there is depression, anxiety, disappointment, loneliness, boredom. Holy One, come with words of peace. Come with words of peace today for those we love and hold close to our hearts. For those who need courage, endurance, faith. And renew us all by the power of your love, grace, and hope, that we may have life in your name, that we may live with gratitude, that we may share the light of love that shines in our spirits. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus the Christ, who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As you go today, go with God's grace and God's love, and may this be the song in your heart, I am walking a path of peace.